how effective is IBIS compared to stabilization built into the lens of the camera? This is my A6500 camera. I purchased it last year and recently I purchased the A6400 which is filming this video. And the obvious difference between the two cameras is the A6500 has the IBIS and the A6400 doesn't. A6500 is more expensive due to having the IBIS and I just wanted to know really is it worth the extra money for the IBIS. The first test I'm going to do is I'm going to compare both of these cameras. I'm going to put them side to side on this dual grip gimbal or part of a gimbal. This is the Feiyu A1000 gimbal, which um, the gimbal piece comes in the middle here. And this, but this will be a handheld test and I'll just be holding it like this. I'm going to attach um, the Sigma 16mm third party lens which has no image stabilization in the lens I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's going to be attached to the A6500 with the IBIS and the A6400 is going to have a native Sony lens the 18 to 105mm which it has optical steady shot footage from the A6400 is a lot smoother so OSS is the winner here. This is a gimbal test with a 16-15mm lens on both cameras and also the Sigma 16mm 1 f.1.4. I couldn't tell any difference between the footage. Three forms of stabilization versus two. So I say it's a draw. So the test will be IBIS plus gimbal versus gimbal. From the footage, I would say that there's a slight improvement of image quality with the IBIS and the gimbal over the, versus the gimbal, but not by much. In this last test, I'm going to be testing the stabilization at the 210 millimeter focal length. The results actually are not much difference between the two cameras, so I would have to say it's a draw on this between this in this test. Which is the most effective form of stabilization? And from the test it indicates that the lens stabilization produce better results so 
out of the two, I definitely prefer to have the lens stabilization. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you later in the next one.